10 Best Places to Visit in Morocco Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman may have given the world Casablanca, but there is much more to see in Morocco than its largest city. This former French colony gives travelers the opportunity to experience life in an ancient Arabic and Berber culture, sunning on beaches or snow skiing in the High Atlas. Get lost in the local life of the meandering Medinas of Maraych, rock the Kasbahs, and follow in the footsteps of ancient traders in Fez, while Casablanca offers up a more modern mindset mixed in with its heritage. Chances to leave the cities behind are in abundance, as the sweeping Saharan desert seduces visitors, while Atlantic beach destinations create the perfect spot for kitesurfing enthusiasts. Whether sampling cuisine at a local sauk or relaxing in the sun at a whitewashed seaside town, the past is always present in this colorful country. Number 10. City Ifni Lying along Morocco's southwest coastline, the small fishing town of Saidi Ifni is a lovely place to visit. It's home to some beautiful beaches, great surf spots, and awe-inspiring rock formations. As it was only returned to Morocco in 1969 after decades of Spanish rule, the Berber town also has a fascinating history and culture for visitors to delve into. As everything is painted blue and white, the city stands out delightfully against its desolate surroundings with a few Art Deco buildings dotted around town. While Saidi Ifni has a very laid-back vibe, lively cafes and restaurants can be found along its oceanfront and around its soak and old Spanish town. One of the main draws is its excellent beach, which is pounded by the waves of the Atlantic Ocean. Number 9. Rabat Although it is often overlooked in favor of Agadir, Casablanca, and Marrakech, Morocco's capital Rabat is well worth visiting. One of four imperial cities in the country, it is set on the northwest coastline and bordered by the Atlantic Ocean. Home to peaceful, palm tree-lined boulevards and an atmospheric old Medina, Rabat is a lovely place to wander around, with interesting historical sites and cultural landmarks dotted here and there. While its massive royal palace and beautiful Art Deco Cathedral look a treat, the main attraction is its well-preserved Kasbah. This is not only home to a delightful old mosque, but also an idyllic Andalusian garden and a magnificent museum on the sprawling site's history. Number 8. Meknes Located near to the city of Fez in northern Morocco, Meknes is known as the city of a hundred minarets for its abundance of monuments, mosques, palaces, and pavilions. Founded by a Berber tribe in the 9th century, Meknes rose to eminence during the 11th century as a fortified town. In the 1700s, the Sultan of Morocco Moulay Ismail made Meknes the country's imperial capital and added to the city's construction. It's the city's former prestige and glory that distinguishes it from other towns in Morocco. Few other places offer visitors such an intimate look at Morocco's golden past. It is also the nearest city to the Roman ruins of Volubilis. Number 7. Chef Cowan Nestled among the Rif Mountains in northwest Morocco, Chef Cowan is one of the prettiest and most picturesque towns in the country. This is, in large part, because all the buildings in its old Medina are painted a beautiful blue and stand out delightfully against its dusty surroundings. Known as the Blue Pearl, the colorful old towns, winding narrow alleys are a delight to get lost in as lovely Moroccan and Andalusian architecture lies all around. These lead you past countless cozy cafes, traditional restaurants, and little hotels to its centuries-old kabash and lively soak, where you can buy local handicrafts and litherwares. Number 6. Asila Now a popular seaside resort town, Asila has a glorious history that dates back to when it was a trade center for the Phoenicians in 1500 BC. In the 19th and 20th centuries, pirates used it as a base of operations. Fortifications from these bygone eras remain, surrounding the restored Medina. Azila is located on Morocco's north coast about 30 kilometers from Tangier. It's a hot summer spot for Moroccans. Travelers who want to avoid crowds had the best visit in spring or fall. Whitewashed buildings complete the picturesque scene. It has a good selection of budget hotels and restaurants, and a growing art scene. About 2.5 kilometers south of Asila lies Paradise Beach, a wonderful wide stretch of sand, popular with locals and tourists. 
Number 5. Ishawira. An 18th century town on Morocco's Atlantic coastline, Ishawira is one of the nation's most popular beach destinations. Whitewashed homes sporting cobalt blue shutters provide a scenic backdrop for breezy seaside adventures, which include kite surfing and windsurfing. The city's medina features crafts made using centuries-old techniques, including fuya wood carving and cabinet making. The argan oil trade is well established here as well, and the women cooperatives responsible for processing, the argan nuts are instantly recognizable from their long white robes. Number 4. Fees or Fez. Founded in 789, Fefi served as Morocco's capital for hundreds of years. Today, the nation's third largest city is better known as Morocco's handicraft center. Fehiz is the ideal destination for visitors who want to experience the heady and bustling ambience of a Moroccan marketplace. The government is taking great pains to return the historic old town, Medina Faisal Bali, to its original glory. With a population of about 150,000 inhabitants, the Medina is the largest car-free urban area in the world by population. Traditional adobe homes and courtyards ornamented with mosaic tiles line a maze of narrow streets and alleys filled with souks and shops. Number 3. High Atlas The High Atlas is a mountain range that runs from the coast of Morocco towards Allergia. The range includes Tukul National Park, which contains Morocco's highest peak, Jebel Tukul, 4160 meters. The Berber village Imlil is a good place to start the climb of Tukul, the tallest mountain range in North Africa, the High Atlas offers outdoor recreation opportunities year-round, from snow sports in the winter to hiking in the summer. One of the most popular places to visit in Morocco is the Tadra Gorge in the eastern part of the High Atlas, near the town of Tinahur. Both the Tadra and neighboring, Dage rivers have carved out steep cliff-sided canyons through the mountains. Number 2. Merzouga Set in a secluded spot not far from the Algerian border, the small village of Merzouga now makes for a popular base from which to explore the delights of the Sahara Desert. Towering over it are the enormous dunes of Erg Chebi, which in some places reach over 300 meters in height. It is these colossal sandscapes that most people come for, with hiking, quad biking, and camel safaris, all popular ways to explore the dunes. Many visitors also camp in the desert overnight so that they can watch the stunning sunrises and sunsets that paint the dunes a myriad of beautiful colors. Number 1. Marrakech Formerly one of the country's imperial cities, Marrakech is sometimes referred to as the Red City because of its sandstone buildings. Marrakech was founded in the 11th century by the Almoravides, a Berber dynasty that turned the city into an important center of commerce, religion, philosophy, and culture. Under Almoravide rule, red sandstone walls, lavish palaces, and Quranic schools were built of which much can still be seen today. In 1960, Marrakech was known as a hippie mecca, attracting famous celebrities such as the Beatles, Yves St. Laurent, and the Rolling Stones. Comprised of beautiful old architecture and courtyards of orange, palm, apricot, and olive trees, Marrakech today is still one of Africa's most popular tourist destinations. So, which one was the most fascinating to you? Let us know in the comments. Also, remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.